sadly, summer is almost over. So here at us at Lockport, we just finished our summer reading closing program and we're getting ready to get back in the swing of getting ready for school. So you guys probably are too, but I know that right before school starts, you always wanna be able to squeeze in that last minute book. So I'm gonna do an author spotlight on an author that every book that I've read of hers, I've been able to be so engrossed in it, I finished within like two days. So um, I'm sure many of you have heard of Rambo Roel. She is a fabulous author. She's very popular for her book, Eleanor and Park. Um, Eleanor and Park, it is about first love, and it's also a reminder that everyone's family situation isn't perfect, but that doesn't mean it's bad. Um, so you kind of learn from the people around you, and sometimes they make you more appreciative of what you have at home. Um, Eleanor and Park, kind of two outcasts who become friends, and then they eventually become boyfriend and girlfriend, and it's a very endearing, sweet story. Um, it's a very tender romance, but it's kind of punk rock too. So that's kind of what I loved about it. Um, and then of course, their relationship is built on a love of music. So for music fans, this is a great book. Um, I kind of a little bit of a flashback for you. So Eleanor and Park is a great one of hers. So then um, she came out with a book called Fangirl. Um, Fangirl is about a girl who writes fan fiction for a series that's very similar to one of our favorite boy wizards. And um, so she writes all this fan fiction, but no one really knows that it's her. And so she's graduated from high school, she's in her freshman year of college, and that's a crazy, crazy time in your life is being a freshman in college, and you experience a lot of things. So for some of you seniors who are getting ready for college um, in the next year, this is a really great book that I would recommend to you. It kind of gives you a realistic viewpoint of what your first year at college might be like. It can be lonely in the beginning, but you gotta stick with it. It does get better. Um, and so she learned some things from her literature teacher, from her roommate, from her twin sister. She goes through a lot of changes in all aspects of her life. And so Fangirl um, is really great read for that. And it also is a romance. And the fan fiction that she writes in this book inspired Carry On. So Carry On is actually the real life version of the fan fiction talked about in Fangirl. Because in Fangirl, there's only little bits and pieces of the fan fiction that are presented. And um, Rambo actually does um, a little author interview at the end of this book and kind of explains that she was really unaware of fan fiction until she wrote this book. And then she just kind of fell in love with it. You know, not all authors really love fan fiction, but Rainbow does. She said it was such an engaging world and she just loved the community. So, um, Kath becomes part of that community in Fangirl. And so this is the fan fiction that Kath wrote. So this is, um, about two teenage boys who are at a school for wizards and witches and they have a very hot and cold relationship and there's a lot of very familiar archetypes that you'll recognize in this book if you are a Harry Potter fan. Um, but it was a really great adventure book with some romance involved in it. Um, so Carry On was very good. Uh, so Rainbow did a really good job with this one and it was very interesting because having read Fangirl the characters are introduced but you could read Carry On without reading Fangirl like if first year college doesn't sound interesting to you but you like fantasy then I would go straight to Carry On it's a great book um, so Rainbow kind of catches all genres so this one's more fantasy this one is a coming of age story. And then Eleanor and Park is your punk rock romance. So she kind of has something for everyone. They're great books um, and they're quick reads because you will, even though, you know, these two kind of get bigger, they're so great that you just get so engrossed in them that you want to read them and you don't want to put them down. So, um, and then um, if you're a LaFouche Parish patron, we do have some of these books available as eBooks and audiobooks if you prefer a different format than traditional ones. So. Um, I hope you guys enjoy these books. Let us know um, if you read this summer. What books did you read this summer that you really enjoyed that you would recommend to some other teens? And if you did our summer reading program, 
we want to know how many books you read this summer. I hope you guys got a lot of good reading in and um, hope you get time to catch in one more book before school starts and the schedules get crazy with homework and everything. So, all right guys, that's it for us and we will see you guys again.